Welcome back to SourceFed, I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm Bri Esrig. Tragic news this morning as the 13-year-old star of the popular YouTube channel Bertaley died last week due to natural causes. Caleb Logan was a member of the Bertaley family who starred in videos of their daily lives on YouTube, also featuring Caleb, his sisters Annie and Haley. The channel is about their mom, Katie, who has never revealed their actual last name. Katie announced the death of her son on Instagram, saying, yesterday at 7.08 p.m., Kaylin Logan Bertaley passed away of natural causes. This has come as a shock to all of us. Words cannot describe how much we will miss him. His incredibly funny, loving, and wonderful spirit made us all fall in love with him as a YouTuber, friend, brother, and son. We know you tune in to watch each day and eagerly anticipate new videos, but ask that you bear with us while we deal with this tragedy as a family. Please help us honor our baked potato, which was the internet nickname given to Caleb. Now fans have reached out to share stories of Caleb as well as their sympathies for the family, but there's also confusion over how a seemingly healthy boy, who was featured in this video the day before he died, could die so suddenly, but hopefully we can all respect the family's wishes and give them time to grieve. We here at SourceFed send our deepest condolences to family and friends of Caleb from one YouTube community to another. Rest in peace, Caleb. Now switching gears to some news that should have a positive effect on the world, deforestation takes down about 10 billion trees around the world annually. Imagine having to replant those trees by hand. Now stop imagining that right now and imagine this instead. A new startup wants to use those hellish terrifying robot murder machines, otherwise known as drones, to reforest the earth. Yay! Hey, forests. Biocarbon Engineering is the name of the company behind the zany idea, and they believe that small, unmanned flying machines are perfect for flying over and covering hard to reach dead foresty areas with seedlings to repopulate said forests. Yeah, I want to fly over some forests and repopulate it with seedlings. You know what I'm saying? I think so, and I'm, I'm deeply disturbed. Look, I don't understand why we can't just train birds to do this. Birds don't do anything important. They just fly around and shit on cars and make insane sounds that I can't comprehend. Maybe it's time birds become active members of society. Steve, everyone knows that birds are far too outraged to do anything productive. There's even games in an upcoming documentary film about it. I, I don't think that's a documentary. Shh. Forests and jungles are being torn down and destroyed because of strip surface mining, urban expansion, and that evil lumber corporation from Fern Gully. Ooh, I hate that lumber corporation. There's some fancy science behind this tech though. It's not just about sending drones in the air and hoping they drop seeds where they're needed. According to former NASA engineer Lauren Fletcher, the drones will map the topography of the land as well as the nutrients and biodiversity of the area. That information is then being translated into computer talk and a machine learning algorithm to generate a precision planting platform. Ha! Take that, birds! You don't know nothing about topography. Ew! After that, the drone flies up to 10 feet off the ground, then fires a seed pod into the ground in the optimal location. Science! That's cool. That's like drones firing seed bullets into the ground. That's literally what I just said. The ultimate goal of this company is to plant up to a billion trees a year. I am in. Where do I sign up? Take my money. Accept the money I use on pornography. Dem's mine. So those are our stories for today, guys. What do you think another productive and beneficial use of terrifying drones could be? Let us know down in the comments below. Hey, Bree, those are some fancy leggings you have there. Where did you get them? Why, thank you, Steve. For human peoples, of course. They're just the best place to buy unique quality merchandise inspired by your favorite pop culture icons and such. As you can see, there's leggings, shirts, hoodies, laptop things, and also more. So go to freehumanpeoples.com and use that coupon code SourceFed at checkout. And if it's your first time buying, you'll get 10% off the order. Hot hell, that's a deal and a half. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Bri Estrick. And I'm Steve Est, Rick. You're not my uncle. So I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the lights and plates said pressure and a dice in the mirror. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, they You're sang a right. song called... Uh...